Today we're matching ambient light color with strobes. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're under a bridge in Chicago and uh, we're with our beautiful model Avery. And we're gonna be doing some matching of lighting between uh, ambient light and some strobe lights. So we're under this bridge and the really cool thing about this bridge is there are all these like um, really yellow lights that are kind of shining from uh, right above. And this is in the middle of the day. It's really bright outside, but if you're looking to something, get like a little bit more creative, maybe like use some of those shots, look for areas like this that are kind of in the shade because we can do a lot with our lighting in a shaded area like this that we really couldn't do in a perfectly lit area like outside. So we're under the bridge and we're using our light basically, which is gonna be shining down on Avery. And you can see it like right on her right now. It looks really great. Um, the only problem is that the light really only hits half of her. It's, it's basically just shining on the top of her head. You can see it on the top of the rock here. It doesn't really look that bad, but it's not really filling any, anything in as far as her face goes. So we've got a lot of really nice light on the top of her head, but her face is almost completely dark. Um, we're using an exposure a little bit slower shutter speed so we can get some of the ambient from outside, but we're gonna make sure we match that with the strobe light as well. So we've got our strobe with, it's got CTO gels in it, which are color temperature orange gels, and those are gonna match the actual color temperature of this light hill here. So Avery, if you wanna go ahead and pose against the wall, this is about where she's gonna be. And we've got our strip box here, which is basically shining some light down with Avery. So the camera is back where you guys are looking right now. And we've got basically shooting this way, the light from above, and this is gonna be this is gonna be right out of the frame. So it's coming from behind as well. So it's gonna imitate the light that's looking up from one of these lights, except it's gonna be a strip box kind of shining in. And that's gonna fill in all of our shadows as well as make it look like it's basically the same light that's lighting from a top, up top and from beside. Even though it's not the same light, it's gonna kind of give the idea that, okay, maybe there's another one of these right over here or something like that. So by matching the color temperature, again, we've got CTO gels on it. It's gonna make the lighting look a lot more balanced and it's gonna look a lot more even. So instead of just using ME light, we're supplementing it with strobe. It's very, very cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there we go. And then look back towards me. Gorgeous. Do it, um, instead of going directly towards the wall, like come at an angle a little bit more. There we go, like that, yeah. And then pull the fabric up from your leg. Maybe not so much, let's do like halfway. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. So our camera settings today, we're shooting at a 40th of a second, and this is at 5.6 ISO 100. So we're letting in quite a bit of decent light here, and most of it's coming in from the outside. Now we're also shooting at our white balance of 5,600 degrees Kelvin, which is basically daylight, which means the outside is gonna look pretty natural, and the light that's hitting our subject is actually gonna be pretty warm. So that's why it's showing up warm from our overhead light as well as our strobe. If we were to switch to something like tungsten, this light would look a lot more neutral and outside would look a lot more blue. So using this white balance is just, it's a creative way to kind of say like, do we want this to be warm or do we want it to be neutral? So the white balance as well as our camera settings, we're letting a little bit of ambient light in, but most of it's gonna be with the strobe. Thanks for joining us under the bridge, guys. We hope you learned a lot in this tutorial and uh, look forward for more coming soon.